channel. In this video, we are going to study the new chapter of the class 12 that is reproductive health. Till today, in the previous videos, we have studied all the aspects regarding the reproductive, right? So, it is the sum up of those all topics where if we learn those topics clearly, we will understand this way, reproductive health. The term itself says that in this topic, we are going to study the health regarding the reproductive parts. Come. So let's start. Well, the reproductive health, the word itself says, or we can easily get to know that, reproductive health refers to the healthy reproductive organs with the normal functions, right? So if we define it in that similar way, why the WHO, that is World Health Organization, define this reproductive health as it is a person's state of being with the healthy reproductive or the healthy reproductive aspects which are regarding or which are connected or interlinked with the aspects like physical, emotional, social and behavior. What this WHO says is a person should be healthy in the aspect of reproduction or the reproductive organs with respect to the terms like physical, emotional, social and behavior. What it means is if a person be in a healthy manner with his all the organs with a normal function then he will be stable and normal with respect to the physical. If a person is remember for example if a person is suffering from any diseases okay he won't be fit for a physically and it affects its emotional way of being and then to socially and behavior. So what WHO defines this reproductive health is it is nothing but a person being healthy of reproduction with respect to the physically, mentally, sorry, emotionally, socially and behavior. So if a person be healthy, he will be very active in the society. So this is how the reproductive health is defined by the World Health Organization. So later, what happens is India is a first country in the world to initiate the programs regarding the reproductive health or the regarding the health of the reproductive organs. So in the year 1950, India initiated a program. Okay, that program is called as the family planning, where reproductive health issues are gathered, concerned about that. So India is our first country in the world to initiate such planning. That planning is called as the family planning. It is initiated in the year 1951. So later many programs under the same principle in the sense to maintain the reproductive healthy society. Okay? They kept the goal to maintain the healthy reproductive society. So later the programs like RCH where RCH is nothing but reproductive
Nowadays, at least there are many programs and uh, many innovative, innovative ways to give awareness about this in our to health. For example, especially the main things what we have to do is by how we can give awareness is through the audio visual. Okay, these are the main tools or the in social media. Many of the people, maybe rural, love or any of the people are under these controls or social media. So, so by using audio and visual tools, we can give awareness to the people and by introducing sex education in the schools. Why? Because in the school where the adults and or the young students will be there, right? They should be get out or they should not be give up this topic with the myths. They should come out of those myths and misconceptions about this reproductive health and the sex issues. So what happens is in our society, the only the social events like sex abusers or the crime should be done to take up all these topics in our head, right? It should not be happened. Sex education should be included in the education system to give awareness about this topic so that the adolescents will get to know how the organs functions and what are the means, what are the true or false regarding about these topics. And one more thing is by how we, how we can give awareness is by giving the slogans. Okay, that is the one of the main way of giving awareness these days, these days. Whatever the topics it may be, by using slogans, we can give awareness to the society. And later, a time, it is a amyloid synthesis. It is a process to check the abnormalities of the baby on the basis of chromosomal pattern. Or we can simply say to find out the chromosomal abnormalities of the fetus. But what people do or what doctors did is they misused to check the or to do the sex determination. Determination. What they will do is by using this amniotic fluid which is surrounded that embryo, they try to find out the sex of the fetus, whether it is a male or female. So this amniocytosis was banned. Why? Because if the fetus was a female, it was it was led to the death or it was mean to abort it. So this amniocytosis is banned. Like this, these kinds of programs are initiated or process to give the awareness to the society. And coming to our next topic that is population explosion. What happened is in certain era or in certain time what happened due to the healthy society and due to the medical facilities which are present now due to this the mortality rate with the death rate decreased heavily. So what happened? This death rate or the mortality rate declined, it has a decline. During the Independence Day, during our Independence Day, our population was about 350 million somewhat. But when coming to the 2000 year, it has crossed 1 billion across this population. So population explosion was done due to the way the many or the population got increased. It was nasty like anything. So why this happened is due to the MMR where maternal mortality rate declined. Due to this uh, medically associated delivery where the medically assisted delivery led to the maternal, sorry, maternal mortality rate where the mother that was less and also the high mortality, infant mortality rate where the babies due to this medical issue facilities what happened, the death, the death rate become very less. And the population explosion got started. So how to overcome this population or how to control this birth of the heavy rate? Because the rapid population gives problem more problem, especially for the basic needs that is food, shelter and clothing. These are the main basic things which we need. If the population gets more increased, then we will not be the survival to be fit. So to overcome or for the birth control, the first thing what we can do is we say that mother as the contraceptive method. What is this contraceptive method? It is a way or it is a kind of a process where the pregnancy is avoided. Okay, where the pregnancy is avoided by using the pills or any devices. So 
by using pills and by using the any devices where this pregnancy are avoided that is called as the contraceptive method so that the birth control takes place so this is about the contraceptive method and these contraceptives like pills and devices they should be user friendly some of the features of this contraceptive method they should not be harmful to the users and they should be user friendly and they should be reversible and they should be available so these are some of the healthy and friendly features of this contraceptive method so this is all about introduction and some of the main topics about this reproductive health and in the next video let me come up with a continued part about this reproductive health till then stay tuned and please focus on this because these are very important and especially in this topic it is very important because the questions whatever you get from these topics are the same or if they get you will get the